Hello, this is Landon Gilmore. I'm the Associate Choir Director at the Woodlands College Park High School. And this morning I'll be showing you how to subscribe to the calendars using the free Google Calendar service. First, we'll open a web browser and go to the Google Calendar website, calendar.google.com. And the Google Calendar service is completely free. If you use Gmail, um, you can use that same account to sign in with this. And if you haven't created an account yet, you can do that right here and uh, click that button and follow those directions. So I'm going to sign in with a test account. And this is what it looks like if you set it up brand new. Um, the list of calendars shows up over here in the left. Right now there's just this default one. Uh, so let's fix that by going back to the choir website. We're going to go on and that's CavalierChoir.com. We're going to go to Calendars, down to Subscribe, and then there are the links to subscribe. The two that you want to make sure that you get are the College Park Choir Calendar that applies to all choir students, and then this TMEA UIL Event Calendar. So to do that, I'm going to right-click on the link and go to Copy. And what that's doing is copying this long URL right here and we're going to paste that into Google Calendar. So in Google Calendar I'm going to go to add and we're going to add a new subscription by URL right here and then just paste that URL into the field and hit add calendar. So now you see now we've got a new calendar showing up as Cavalier Choirs. It's already in a nice blue. Um, that is does seem to be a coincidence though um, so it might show up as a different color and if you want to change it all you have to do is move your mouse over it this little arrow click and choose what color you'd like okay um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back do the same process for the TMEA UIL event calendar I'm gonna copy link on Windows it's a little different it's not gonna say exactly copy link it'll say something like copy shortcut or something to that effect so you'll you'll just you'll be able to figure that out copy link um, go back to Google Calendar gonna add another subscription by URL paste in the link and click add calendar and it's a nice red color because those are um, very important dates and now I'm gonna go up here to the top right and switch to the month view and you see our fall concert showing up that we just had, the lock-in we had last weekend, region choir auditions this Saturday, and so on and so forth. So all of that information is pulled in, very easy, um, very quick. And the great thing about this process is that by subscribing to the calendars in this fashion, if we change a date or a time changes or we add dates, or delete dates or anything like that any changes are made to the calendars uh, we change them uh, on our server and they'll get pushed to you and so by subscribing to them if the information changes it'll automatically change in your calendar as well there's nothing to keep up with no papers to hunt down um, or confusion whatever is on the calendar here will be the most recent and correct information or at least that's <laughs> that's the goal um, there's also a calendar subscription link here for show choir students and the process is exactly the same. Um, and uh, we've got some questions from some folks about how to do this on your phone. The process is basically the same thing. Um, there's no way for me to make a video with every kind of phone system and how that works. But the nice thing about using Google Calendar is setting it up uh, the subscriptions in Google Calendar, um, Google Calendar pretty much plays nice with just about everything. So you can use it here on a web browser at any computer you might be. Um, you can sync it with iCal on the Mac right here. Um, if you have an iPhone or an Android based smartphone or PDA or anything like that, Uh, you can subscribe uh, to those calendars with those links or um, you can have your Google Calendar and then sync with your Google Calendar on that device. 
So it's a great way to do that. Hopefully this helps you and um, and this will make your life easier for dealing with the calendars. Uh, if you have questions about any other calendar services, I can try to make videos. Um, but if you would send those to us in an email uh, and tell us what program you're using, I'll try to make a video for how to do that. Thanks a lot and hope this helps.